Hello everyone, this is Amrit Pal Singh. Welcome to my another video of Apache Spark series. Guys, in this video, I'll be continuing with my Apache Spark ML Lab tutorial. In a previous video, I have uh, talked about machine learning ML Lab uh, just to work on linear regression. In this video, I'll be talking about feature transformation. All right, so what is feature transformation, guys? Uh, feature transformation is simply a function which transform the features from one representation to another. But you must be wondering why we transform our features. All right. So guys, there are multiple reasons for it. The very first reason can be the data types are not suitable to be fed into machine learning algorithm. Examples can be text. It is in categories. Another reason may be the feature values may cause problems during learning process because uh, the data represented in different scales or we want to reduce the number of features to plot and visualize data or maybe speed up the training or improve the accuracy of a specific model. Guys, in this video, we'll be focusing on two transformation techniques. First, how we can handle categorical variables. All right. And second will be feature scaling. Let's start with the first point, categorical values first. So what are categorical values, right? The categorical values are the values which can be represented in the categories or groups. All right. So they can be, uh, they can be grouped into two types, nominal, ordinal. Nominal meaning is these are nominal values are simply a names or labels with no ordering defined. Examples can be gender, color. In this case, we don't have any ordering defined, right? But in the case of ordering values or sorry, ordinal values, ordinal values are categories where order does matters. Example can be t-shirt size, where we have a size like M, L, XL and all. We have a rank, we have a grade. So machine learning algorithms cannot handle data represented as categories or labels. Therefore, we need to transform the values into more relevant format. Okay, so how we can do it? Let's start with a simple demo here. I'll be loading one data very simple one I can show you. This is the data I'll be using for my first demo. A simple colors.csv file in which I'm having these entries. We have a two fields ID and color. Guys, in this case, you will you may uh, think like data is very simple, but we cannot work with the color column because it contain categorical data. All right. So what I'll be doing will be replacing these categories. Okay, with the number, we're gonna use uh, one method which is called string indexing. Okay, so let's start with this. This file is available in my download section. So first of all, we all know how to start. First of all, we have to make use of Spark session. Okay, so we all know the Spark session is an entry point to the uh, entry point or unified entry point of a Spark application. So we have to create a Spark session first. Let's start from py Spark dot sql import spark session then spark as a variable spark session dot builder dot get or create so what will happen with this guys with this your uh, spark session gonna create it all right Afterwards, guys, we have to load the data. So for loading a data, I'll be using data as a variable spark.read.csv method, which we have used in the previous video as well to load the data. So this uh, data is available in my download section with the path is I'm giving it a fully qualified or complete absolute path here under the download section. This is available as colors.csv. Okay, so it is a CSV file. Uh, then I'm going with header equal to true. I've already explained this in the last video as well. What this header equal to true signals? Header equal to true signals that the first line contains the header. Okay. Then infer schema equal to true. So what does infer schema equal to true signals, guys? It it enables the automatic detection of an underlying data schema. So this is the meaning. So we are done. Let's see whether it is successfully loaded or not. We're gonna uh, display this using show. 
yeah it's available guys now again uh, as i've already have said that we cannot work with the color column here you can see red blue orange since it's contain categorical data so in order to solve this problem i'll introduce one method and we'll see how to implement that method which is called string indexing so what string indexing do it replace each category with a number means wherever the, we have occurrence of red it will be replaced by one number maybe any number maybe 1 2 3 uh, blue will be replaced with its corresponding number means <coughs> wherever you are getting this red you will be getting the uh, some number where you have a blue we will we'll be have a different number so in this way so it will be replacing each category with the number so then we use this number in our models instead of this label so just see how we can do it first of all guys we have to define a string indexer how we can do it from py spark dot ml machine learning dot feature import string indexer okay string indexer so we have successfully imported string indexer so indexer equal to string indexer as a keyword input call equal to color this color which is available as my second column and output call we have a output call will be which is going to generate it with a name color underscore indexed okay done guys in this case indexer is an here is an object of type estimator all right so what is estimator estimator actually abstracts the concept of a learning algorithm uh, or any algorithm that fits or train on a data actually guys behind the scenes estimator implements a method fit which accepts a data frame and produces a model which is known as transformer so what's the objective of this estimator here guys to learn the mappings from a color label to a color index let's see uh, how we can call the fit method to initiate the learning process for this i'm going to define indexer underscore model equal to indexer which we got in a previous step dot fit i'm going to pass my data so it may take little time all right we got our prompt back so guys the return indexer model is an object of type transformer so what is transformer a transformer is an abstraction that includes feature transformers and learned and learned models it implements a method transform which converts one data frame into another generally by appending one or more columns so we already used this uh, thing in a previous video as well so after fitting the estimator and getting our transformer now we have a time to use it in our data by calling transform all right let's do it we have now indexed data equal to indexer model which we got in a previous step dot transform all right trans form what we have to transform our data we almost done guys now let's see whether we can get whether we have got this in a, a, a additional column or not we should get a new column which is a color indexed all right let's see with a show indexed data dot show so you can see guys wherever we have a occurrence of red i got zero you can see wherever we have a occurrence of blue we got 3 you can see blue 3.0 wherever we have a occurrence of orange we have one all right so this uh, concludes the first point which is my string indexing all right i hope it's fine so guys what is now next point is feature scaling let me now clear the screen what is feature scaling now now let us move from categorical values to numerical ones guys we all know that uh, we always say that we need to have a data in a numerical data, numerical values right so in this example i'm going to work with this data this one wine dot data okay you can see so you must be wondering why do we need to bother here this kind of data is already numerical all right and it can be used in the machine learning model straight away unfortunately uh, unfortunate, uh, because guys it is not 
Unfortunate, unfortunately, this is not always the case. All right. So now we have to understand what is feature scaling. Okay. In this case, what is wrong, guys? Check it out. What is wrong in this case? Auto, although it is a comma separated uh, file. All right. If we have a closer look at the values in each column, guys, some of the values are quite small. Okay. Just check it out. Some of the values are quite small, 0 0.28, 0 0.26. Some of the uh, values are falling in some uh, small range, like maybe from 20, 10 to 20. And some are, some of the values are little big. You can see more than 1000. It means we have a variation in a data. Okay. So what we're going to do, guys, this diversity in the scale could cause a lot of problems in some machine learning algorithms. Because the machine learning algorithm may assign a higher weight to the value which is higher in number. Let's suppose if we have a one column called salary. Okay, we have one column called salary in my data. Obviously, salary will mean thousands like 10k, 20k and all. This is a higher number. This is a of a five digits. It should not be given a more priority, right? Although let's suppose we have one more column called age, which is 20, 30, 40, 50. It's just a two digits but salaries of five or six digits. It doesn't mean that the salary, which is of have a higher value, have a more priority. This is the, this is the point guys I was talking about. We have a diversity in a scale. Okay. So how we can overcome this problem, right? To overcome this problem, we have to transform the values to be at same scale. Okay. So we're going to use here the scalar. We're going to use here the standard scalar. Let's first get this data guys. Okay, let me now uh, get this data first. I'm gonna use here data two maybe equal to spark dot read dot csv. Then I'm gonna use home amrit downloads comma wine dot data. Okay, header we don't have uh, any column name available. So we're gonna use header equal to false, but infer schema I'm keeping it at true. Infer schema equal to true. Okay. Uh, we got okay. I got one issue here. Instead of this, we have a single quotes. All right. So data two dot show. This is my data, guys. You can see we don't have any uh, column available, column name available. That's why Spark is giving of its own right after the after this guys we have to now import the vector assembler okay we have to now get the vector assembler that we also have uh, got in a previous video as well so from py spark dot ml dot feature import vector assembler all right so assembler equal to vector assembler. We all know what is vector assembler guys using vector assembler. We're going to take, we're going to create one, uh, data. We're going to take the data in a list form of form a list, right? So all things will be aggregated together. So assembler. So input calls will be data to dot columns okay so i'm having a data which i've defined here comma output call output call it will be created automatically which is my features column which is my features column all right so i've already uh, told you guys what is features we all know that data any spark algorithm expects the data in a features or labels so here we are uh, creating a feature. So what is feature? It's an array of a data points of all the features. All right. So I'm taking it here. It's working guys. Now, uh, using transform, we're going to just transform that data. So we have a data three equal to assembler, assembler dot transform. What data two? All right. So far, so good. Guys, now we're going to apply the standard scalar. 
Okay, so what is standard scalar? A standard scalar standardizes the features by removing the mean and scaling to unit standard deviation using column summary statistics. Or in other words, in layman words, we can say we want to get all the values on a same scale so that one uh, due to presence of one column maybe salary we don't have a like a biasness of a data right that the data which is having a more uh, value should not be considered or should not be given more priority all right for this we're gonna first get it uh, in our system in our environment using pyspark.ml.feature space import space standard scalar okay we're gonna use standard scalar here successfully imported so using this scalar we're gonna apply standard scalar input call will be my the vector the vector assembler output which is feature okay features and output call it will be resulted it will be created automatically with the name scaled features with the scaled features okay done so guys now we have to fit our estimator on the data set so scalar underscore model equal to scalar what we got in a previous step dot fit okay data 3 data 3 all right you can see we got it done afterwards guys we finally we apply our transformer on our data to get our scaled features scaled data equal to scalar model dot transform data 3 all right let's see so guys we are done we are we have got our scaled features ready let's see scaled data dot show actually what we have achieved in this case guys uh, like we have got the data scaled up it means like the things earlier we were having the data which were which was represented in a different scales but we have got now data in our on, on our same scale okay using the standard scaler all right i hope uh, you must have understood what we have done today so we have just uh, made use of feature transformation uh, techniques first we have uh, uh, talked about handling categorical variables afterwards we have talked about feature scalings that how we can scale up the features you can see a new column got generated here just see this is what we have achieved in this case all right i hope you must have understood if you have any doubt uh, or if you haven't understood any step please feel free to uh, uh, reach to me using my comments right i'll be happy to address all your issues all right thank you guys for watching this i'll see you next video